In this video, you're gonna learn the three-step process to better finger picking, coming up. Welcome to Advanced Worship Guitar Tutorials. I feel like I wanna get more and more intense every time I do that. Welcome to Advanced Worship Guitar Tutorials. My name is Spencer Carmony from leadingworshipwell.com, and in this video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. If you didn't notice, I didn't post a cover like I usually do earlier this week. That's because my one year anniversary on YouTube is coming up. Plus I had a conversation with my friend Jimmy Cooper stored up on my hard drive. So I wanted to get that out there. If you haven't checked out that conversation about how to become a full-time worship leader, check it out right there. But in this video, I realized that in these advanced acoustic guitar tutorials, I kind of take some things for granted, like I, I think you know some things that maybe you don't know, and that's okay, because even advanced worship guitarists don't know everything, like I think of it like we have a tool bag, and we're all, we have different things in the tool bag, some of us have a wrench, some of us have a hammer, some of us have finger picking, some of us have harmonics, whatever it is, and so to become an advanced acoustic guitar player and transition from probably like intermediate to advance really what it is is you're building up this tool bag of tools that you have at your disposal so i'm not sure how often i'm going to do these videos but i do want to start doing some videos where i teach you some tools that you can use so some more fundamental concepts of things that you can do on the guitar instead of just showing you the song and i think that it'll help you in the future whenever you're watching the advanced acoustic tutorials. And so with that being said, one of the things that I use and take for granted is finger picking. If you haven't noticed in my more recent covers, I've been finger picking a lot more. And I get a lot of questions about that, like I don't really understand how to finger pick. And so first of all, I just wanna say, if you can't finger pick, I think like you can still use a pick and strum the chords. I always have the chords right here up on the screen whenever I'm playing through the song. So you can strum through the chords. You don't have to finger pick them. Really, the only reason that I finger pick is because I live in an apartment building. And so before really the lockdown, the coronavirus lockdown has affected how I play guitar because I used to always record the cover videos when everybody was at work in my apartment building because I didn't want to annoy them by banging on my guitar but now everybody's home. So I feel like I have to be quieter. And so I finger pick more because of that. And so it's affected how I play guitar, but I think it's kind of a cool style. So with that being said, I wanna show you a process that you can work through to kind of work your way up to some more advanced finger picking style. So I'm gonna start not, not at beginner, like I'm not gonna tell you use this finger and this finger and this finger. You'll see what fingers I'm using. I'm gonna be using like these three fingers for now for the most part. And then I'm gonna slowly add some techniques, some finger picking techniques over time. And I'll just lead you through this process. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I wanna teach you is just not necessarily basic finger picking, but sort of intermediate finger picking. And it's gonna start like I always do in my advanced tutorials, I show you the chord shapes because it's very important to recognize that finger picking, I think people get confused with finger picking because whenever you read a tab, you see all of these different notes and you see like a note on the E string and then on the B string and blah, blah, blah. But really what it is, is you're just picking through chord shapes. So whenever you see a tab, if you're looking up a song that has finger picking and you see a tab, the first thing you should be looking for is not the individual notes. The first thing you should be looking for is, okay, what chord shape is this tab spelling out? And it's not gonna be straight up and down like it usually is. It's gonna be like diagonal because you're picking through the chords as you go. So keep that in mind. So I wanna start off by showing you the chord shapes just like I do in every tutorial that we're gonna be using here. So here's the chord shapes. Here are the chord shapes that we're gonna be using. Here's a G. Then we're gonna go to a C, up to a D, to a B minor, to a C. So that's the chord progression that we're going to use. Pretty simple, I tried to keep it really simple. It's just a movable chord shape. Make sure you get comfortable with moving those chord shapes around. It should be easier. We're just moving the same thing up and down the fretboard. I did that on purpose so that we can focus on the right hand because that's where the finger picking comes in. So get comfortable with those chords. Now I wanna show you the tab of 
what this looks like. Remember, look at the tab closely here. Do you see this first part? All right, can you see the G chord that I just showed you in that tab? That's what you're supposed to be looking for whenever you look at finger picking. All right, so I'm gonna play through this slowly. I'll count it out because I think that helps in finger picking to hear one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna break it down a little bit further and give you some more tips that'll help you. So just try to play along for now. I'll play it as slowly as I possibly can. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's what it sounds like. Practice that again and again. And what I want you to focus on is, I'm gonna play it one more time here. I want you to notice when I hit the bass note. If you wanna succeed in finger picking, really what it comes down to is you've got a bass note of the chord that you're playing, and then you've got sort of the top end of the chord. And if you can differentiate those two things in your mind, it's gonna help you separate whenever you're changing chord shapes, essentially. And it'll help you in the process. So pretty much whenever you finger pick, you're always going to be hitting the bass note on the downbeat. So whenever it's one, that's the bass note. You're gonna be hitting that, or any time that you change chords. So for example, when I go from the B minor to the C, it's one, two, three, four. And so I hit the bass note of the C because I switched chords there. So pay attention to that as I play it one more time. This will give you another chance to practice it. This is like as basic as finger picking gets. So once again, the tab will be right here. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One. All right, so get that down, play through that again and again until we move on to the next part because I'm gonna show you the next technique that I use that is makes it sound advanced. So let's move on to that when you're ready. Just rewind if you need to do this first part again. All right, on to step number two, I wanna show you an essential technique that I use all the time and it's simply this. just slapping the guitar. And it's really that simple, but the hard part comes whenever you incorporate it into your finger picking and figuring out how to actually make this sound while you're finger picking. So the first thing that I want you to do is just get used to making that sound. And essentially all I'm doing is you create the sound by getting your strings to slap the fretboard. That's what's making the sound. So you're taking like this part of your thumb, your hand right here, and you're just, and you want it to be a nice cha, cha, cha sound, something like that. So get that sound going, all right? And then we're gonna incorporate that into our finger picking, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Whenever you see that in the tab, it'll be a bunch of X's in a row. That means to slap your guitar, all right? And so the key for this one, remember, for our bass notes, we wanted it on the one beat, on the down beat, whenever we changed chords. For this, for right now, and this can switch up, but to keep it basic enough and to just learn the technique, you pretty much always hit it on two and four. So I'm gonna be counting again whenever we hit two and when we hit four, you're gonna hear this slap, all right? And that mimics a drum snare because the basic drum beat that you'd ever hear in music, the drum is usually hitting on a two and a four. So we're mimicking that here, all right? So I'm gonna play this slowly. The tab will be right here. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so you hear how that hits on two and four. So if we can break this finger picking down into smaller sections and we realize that we hit the bass note on the downbeat, we hit the snare essentially on two and four, it just makes it easier. So practice that again and again until you get comfortable with slapping just like that. That's the next step. And then there's one more step after that. So if you need to rewind, do that part again, feel free to do it. One thing I didn't mention is whenever you slap, like that, remember we're hitting the bottom string. And so whenever you do that, it cancels out the bass note because you've stopped that note playing. So sometimes you might've heard me do it. I would hit the bass note again directly after a slap. So you can mess around with that as you progress in this. It would sound like two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, Three, four, one, two, three, four. Just something to keep in mind. So you can practice that too before we move on to the next one. All right, you're sounding great. Let's move on to the final step. And this is what I think is like the secret sauce. This is what makes the finger picking that I'm teaching you really advanced because we've taken the basics of just finger picking, then we added in the slap, right? And now what else can we add? It seems like that would be it, right? Well, no, now we wanna learn how to slap and add a note at the same time. So. How do we do that? Well, we know how to slap, right? We're using this part of our thumb right here. And then we need to add on top of that, hitting some more strings with our fingers, like our fingernail part, all right? So I want you to practice this. I'll put the tab right here. It might take you a couple tries, but that's what we're doing. We're slapping the, the low E string with our thumb right here. And then we're gonna be hitting at the same time the extra notes that I'll show you in the tab with these fingers, all right? So here's what I want you to do. Just practice this over and over again. All right, just like that, until you get it. So to break it down even further, we're hitting the bass note or the E string slapping it like that and then the other part is our fingernails just going so just practice that without slapping first and then add the slap in all right get that technique down and now i want to show you how to incorporate that into your finger picking and we're going to be using some different chord shapes this time because whenever you do this you usually like or at least I usually hammer on to up to the chord shape. So I wanna show you these chord shapes. I already showed you the first one, all right? So we're gonna be going, that's the first one. Then we're gonna go up to the C again, just like that. So just practice it without slapping first so you know what you're doing. Your, your left hand is still going to be doing the same thing, whether you're just picking or slapping or whatever. All right, up to the D. We're just gonna play the standard B minor. And then the C again. All right, so let's put this all together. It'll be difficult at first, but I trust that you'll get it. All right, so finger picking sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One. So there it is. 
I know it's difficult, practice it a couple times, you'll get it down, and then you'll see me go back and watch some of my advanced tutorials and covers and you'll see that that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, well, there you have it. Follow those three steps in that order, by the way, that was progressive. So make sure you follow that in that order. And now you know how to finger pick whenever I finger pick in advanced worship guitar tutorials. So thanks so much for joining me. Once again, my name is Spencer Carmony from leadingworshipwell.com. And until I see you in the next one, keep leading worship well.